So let's start at the beginning of the process, when each one of these individuals was still alive. We have seven total bodies here in the lab, and each one of these individuals, when they were alive, chose to go to a certified body donor program and donate their body to science and education. Now, keep in mind, this is a much more in-depth process than just simply checking that box at the DMV to show that you're an organ donor on your driver's license. I've literally had students be worried that they were gonna end up in our lab if they checked that box. Totally different process. Like I said, donating your body to science and education is more in depth, it's more nuanced. For example, one of the things that you have to decide during this process is if you wanna be a common grave or common plot body versus a return to family body. Now, when students hear return to family body, they kind of raise an eyebrow and they're thinking, well, you've removed this organ, you've removed these soft tissues, well, what are you exactly returning back to the family? Well, I know where all the tissues are that belong to each individual body. I know where the tissues are that belong to this body, and I keep them separate from the tissues that belong to that body, and so on. With all seven bodies, we keep the tissues separate, and I know where they are. Because at the end of the time of educating students and utilizing the bodies for educational purposes, we take every tissue, every bone, or whatever belongs to that body, back to the body donor program, and all the remains are cremated. 